Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing my new release comic book pickups from local comic book shops for the week of March 2nd, 2022. To get us started from DC Comics, here is the second printing of Catwoman, issue 39. That great uh, one in 25 incentive cover from the first printing, recolored with a trade dress here for the second print. Next up is issue number seven of Nice House on the Lake. This book took a brief hiatus and now it's back. And here is issue number seven. Really, really cool book if you're not reading it. Next up is Detective Comics issue 1055 with this regular A cover. Got this really, really cool cover here for Arkham City the Order of the World, issue number six of six. is a variant cover. It's crazy looking. I like that one. Here is the B cover, I think, for Batman issue 121. Maybe that's the A cover. I don't know. Here's another cover for Batman issue 121. This is the Francisco Matina cover. So maybe this is, oh, this is the B cover and this is the Batman cover. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Who comes up with these things? Here's the 1 in 25 incentive for Dark Knights of Steel, issue number 5. By Yasmin Putri. No, I don't know who, who did the cover. I don't know, but it looks cool. Here is the 1 in 25 incentive cover for Batman Killing Time, number one. Whoever that cover is by, Alex Gardner. Over to Marvel, here is the second printing to Strange Academy, issue number 15. Gaslight cover there. Gas lamp, gas light. What was that guy's name? I don't remember. Now I'm having trouble remembering what his name was. Uh, here is the second printing for Star Wars Darth Vader issue 20. And since we're in Star Wars, here is Star Wars The High Republic issue 2. Uh, sorry, I have the Storm issue 2. We've got Star Wars The High Republic, issue number 15. This is the 1 in 25 incentive cover. Next up is a whole stack, not a whole stack, four, four copies of uh, the regular cover for Star Wars High Republic, issue 15. So there's a few of those. Got a few covers for What If, Miles Morales, number one. This is What If, Miles Morales became Captain America. This is one of the variants. Here is another variant, right? Yeah. I just saw that, uh, of course, there's a what if Miles Morales Wolverine coming out, but um, I just saw a cover for a Hulk one, so that one looks cool. This is another variant for what if Miles Morales issue one. And the regular cover as well. So I'm excited to read that. I'd like to know what would happen if Miles Morales became Captain America instead of Spider-Man. Um, here is issue number five of The Thing. Here is a variant cover for issue number five of The Thing. Got the X-Gwen variant for Spider-Woman, issue number 20. Here is the X-Gwen variant for She-Hulk, issue number two. Nice David Nakayama cover. Here is the regular Jen Bartel cover for She-Hulk, issue number two. Really nicely done. We've got the second printing of Avengers Forever, issue number one. 
And here is a few copies of Avengers Forever issue number three. The regular A cover on that one. Here is the second printing of Hulk issue three. Got uh, Devil's Reign Spider-Man issue number one with its regular cover there. Here is the regular cover for the new number one this week, Strange, issue number one. Also got this really great J. Scott Campbell cover that looks really awesome. Should have been an incentive. Here is a Scotty Young cover. And here is a 1 in 25 incentive. That's as high as I went on the incentives. Just the 25 didn't. Actually, I take that back. I do have a 1 in 100 coming um, that I pre-ordered. But it's from Things From Another World. So who knows when that will actually ship. Could be years from now at this point. Um, here is Moon Knight, issue number 9. have a few of those. Really cool, trippy cover here. Got the Carnage Forever variant for Moon Knight, issue number nine. Here is the Martin Simmons uh, 1 in 25 incentive variant for Moon Knight, issue number nine. Looks really good. Got Black Panther, issue number four. With this cover. Here is the regular A cover for Black Panther issue four. Got this really, really nice Phil Noto uh, X Gwen variant for Black Panther four. And what is probably my favorite cover of the week is the one in 25 incentive by Stephanie Hans for Black Panther four. Really great cover here. Excited to read this issue. I know it's not a Tosin issue, so um, still excited to see what's going on there. I picked up a few of the Black History Month variant for Fantastic Four, issue 41. I do love Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, so I had to pick up a few of those, but this is a really cool cover. Nicely done. They knocked it out of the park, and that's just a cool cover. Here is the regular cover for issue 41 of Fantastic Four. And of course I had to get my X-Gwen variant and yes, it's got Jubilee on the cover. And we have that Gwen Stacy cosplay there. Here is the Carnage Forever variant for Amazing Spider-Man 91. No, you can't see it too well, it's a little dark, but it's a cool cover. And the regular cover. Next up, a pair of X-Men, issue number nine. Regular cover on that one. Here I've got the variant for Alien, issue number 10. This is just really nicely done. Really cool. Um, Dan Payoasen, I, I I'm not sure how to say his name, but he really did a great cover there. And speaking of great covers, I don't even know who this is that did this cover for uh, Daredevil Woman Without Fear, issue number three, the Stormbreakers cover, uh, but it is really, really good. Very nicely done. Oh, it says right there, Carmen Canero, Canario, Canero. Really great cover. We got the second printing of Death of Doctor Strange Bloodstone number one, and this is the uh, one in 10 design variant uh, with a different color trade dress on it. So that's how they did the second printing there. Have Devil's Reign X-Men issue number two. 
This is the variant um, pool cover. And here is the regular cover by Phil Noto. Over to independent books. Got Blood Moon Comics, uh, Usher of the Dead, number one. I think maybe Blood Moon might be the same publisher that did uh, Emo Girl last week, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, the Blood Moon inside looks too different I don't know it could be felt like their paper was a little heavier but um that book was interesting so that's Usher of the Dead number one here from Boom Studios issue number 16 of Power Rangers I've got Bad Kids Press has a Number one called Cheap Tricks out this week. I don't know who Bad Kids Press is, but this is their new book. Here is that second printing of Duel, issue number one. Also have from Image Comics, issue number eight of Noctera. A really, really great series if you're not reading it. Here is uh, Hell Cop issue number, I don't know, because it doesn't say anywhere, but I'm gonna go with five. I believe it's issue number five. This is the B cover. I'm gonna say issue five. Here is the new number one, Rogue Sun, coming out of the, uh, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, black something universe. Can't think. Radiant Black, sorry. Radiant Black universe is Rogue Sun number one. Wow, that was terrible. My apologies. Please forgive. Um, all right, some books that came in throughout the week are issue number 234 of The Incredible Hulk. First Quasar in there depending on who Quasar is for you. First Quasar in there. Here is a copy of Marvel Boy issue number one. I have uh, Detective Comics 585, the first rat catcher. Picked that up this week. Pretty clean copy. First, the Nebula. I always pick these up when I can. This is the Avengers 257. Nebula, always a good character to hang on to. A really low-grade copy, actually, of Amazing Spider-Man 637. Part of that Grim Hunt storyline. Here is another one of these. I, I had a second one ordered. This is Electra Black, White, and Blood, issue 2. The one in 25 incentive, just because it looks so amazing. Had to get a second copy. Um, and apparently I had to get a third copy of Emo Girl. So that will tell me who the publisher is. They are Black Something Comics. No, maybe not. Maybe not the same publisher. I don't know. I've already spoken about this book too much, and I promise you it's not worth it. Um, but there's that. At least the first issue was not. A pair of Deathstroke Ink 6s. Uh, incentive. 1 in 25s. There. I got a copy of this... Uh, third volume of Man Thing, um, issue number three. Cool Santa cover there. Um, had another copy of Strange Academy A, 16A come in. Another Black History Month Sway variant for, uh, for Iron Man, issue 17. Oh, and another copy, so there's two there. Here is a character spotlight for Strange Academy 16, also came in, as well as a House of Secrets 105. It's very low grade, but that is okay. I love this cover. Trying to flesh out this series. It's been challenging, but I'm getting them done very slowly. And I got some Ultimate Fallouts. Uh, not the four that I would like to have, but I do have... 
issue number two, as well as issue number three. So I guess we could call this the actual first appearance of Miles Morales, maybe. It's got a teaser in it. Maybe it probably doesn't show him, though. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked at this book since I bought it. Let's find out together. Oh yeah, well it kinda it kinda has like a right? First appearance. Twelve million dollars. And that's it guys. That's what I picked up this week at my local shops and as well as stuff that came in through the mail that I had ordered this week and stuff that I pre-ordered that just came in. So that's what I got. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please let me know in the comments below what you picked up this week. Let me know if I missed out on anything awesome. Let me know, let me know if you guys went and saw the Batman. Let me know how you felt about it. If you thought it was good, trash, fun, whatever. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Sorry for the late video. My shop got their books late, but oh well, at least there's something. So thank you guys and I'll see you next time.